here at WAND Radio strive to bring you the very best entertainment the High Academy for the Celestial and the Occult has to offer. The Academy would like to remind our listeners that unicorns and other virtuous beings should enjoy WAND Radio at their own risk. Uh, yeah, the management is not responsible for the continued purity of your unicorn. Thank you. Your musical muse for magical moments, live from the High Academy for the Celestial and the Occult. I'm your host, Calliope Merriweather, and joining me are my co-hosts. Do, do, you, want, do, you, want, do you want to go, or do you want me to go? You have gone first every single week, and now you're questioning. I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes you want to jump in with something clever, and I, I'm Rupert von Koenig, and I'm Emmett. Delightful. We've made it through. That is shockingly reserved for you, Emmett. I've decided to temper uh, all of my my intros based on what Rupert does. Ah, well, I'm glad to have been such a positive influence. You are my muse. That's quite kind. Speaking of which, did you like that present? Which present? Oh, I don't know if we told him about that. Obviously, you've not been back to your to your room. Yeah, you know that uh, that room number I gave you guys. That wasn't actually my room. Oh no! My God, whose room was it? Um, some chick I was dating. I, I don't remember. Beverly, Beth, Bethany. I don't remember. The may or may not be a half cooked horse sized turkey in her room. Ari. That's what that sending was about. Well, good job. Do you think uh, Hall- do you think Hallmark has a uh, sorry I put a uh, a dead horse sized turkey into your room uh, card? Uh they have those ones that are blank on the inside. I'm sure you could just write one. Nah, I'll never come up with the right words. Ah oh, well. I mean, you just said sorry for sending a giant unbaked turkey to your room half baked let's let's be real here i mean it was half cooked like most of our jokes to be fair emmett didn't send the turkey you did rupert you know that's um that's very true i don't think i can get in trouble for this one i don't even know how to cast teleport anyway some school announcements Mm, school announcements all right yes i'm here for that could the owner of the 30-foot bowling pin sculpture that is currently in the quad please remove it? It has come under the attention of some rather aggressive pigeons and is ruining lunch for everyone. So, please. Um, I've, I've eaten in that cafeteria. Lunch was, lo- lunch was ruined a long time before anybody got there. But, you know what? We're going to have to cut that. I, I can't say things like that. You can't say Cafeteria? Yeah, I can't see cafeteria. Ruined a long time before. What I don't understand. I I cannot disparage the fine people that work at this uh, college. Not today. What What's so different about today? Then? No, please just go go on with the announcements, please. Um, I'm eager to hear them. All right. Uh, the annual uh, Thaco Talent Competition is coming up on April 16th. Uh, those who are interested in performing should visit Colville Theatre to sign up. Uh, special MCs for this event are going to be Emmett, Rupert, and Calliope from Wand Radio, who will be there with... W- w- Wait, what? Um, what? Who? What are, what are we doing? My special MC. I, it looks like we are the MCs for the talent competition this year. What? Uh, Calliope, what did you do? I didn't do it. It wasn't me. There's a name signed up. Emmett, isn't this your last name? Is it my what? Your last name. I don't, do I have a last name? Do you have a last name? I'm pretty sure you do. Not that I'm aware of. Have we, di- we haven't discussed it. 
I never had a last name. Nope. Let me see that paper. Kia, fine. No, the, the, there's no way that I sign Emmett with an I with a little heart over it. That Do you really think that's how I sign my name? I don't judge. I recognize this heart. This is Googly's heart. Oh my god. Why did Googly the Unicorn sign us up to be this MC? Who all pissed off? Never mind, it was me. I'll be, I'll be straight. I pissed her off. I'm sure it's all this shit I've been talking about on the show. I called her stubborn, and she thought I was calling her a mule. Oh, terrible. I mean, I would have had I thought of that joke at the time. I mean, I really wish I could go back to episode two or three or whatever that was and say that, but nope, 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 nope. She's a fine mascot, um, and we'll do the best job we can. Yeah, so sign up in Colville Theater. Yeah, well, you said something earlier. What was it? What was it? Read, read the first sentence again. The annual Thaco talent competition. It's a school. Oh, Th- oh, Thaco. Right, the school. Thaco, right. Yeah, yeah. Silly nickname. That may or may yeah. not have just been shorthands from Calliope. Seems, seems overly... Seems overly complex. Well, the High Academy for the Celestial and the Occult, Thaco. It's yeah, no, I got it. Yeah, no, but it seems overly complex, like something that uh, PFU would do. Lots of math involved. I don't think PFU has ever used slide rules. Yeah, well, there's that. There is that. Um, but you know, when you got a when you got something you know geeky and nerdy, and, and you know what better way to make it great but add slide rulers? That's fair. You know. It's- you know, set up as many barriers to entry as possible so that only very, very few people can enjoy the same thing that you do. Yeah, that sounds about right. All right. I we went away from that. Oh, lordy, lordy. I thought we were supposed to be performing in the talent show. Now we're emceeing it? Um, um, uh, maybe we're doing both. I don't, I don't know. Uh, but I would be happy to do whatever the school needs of us. Why did we spend so much time practicing? Oh, are we, did we practice in the past in canon? Yes. Oh, all right. I get it now. I thought we were going to talk about that in the future, but all right. We can do either. It's young and can be cut and spliced. I don't know. We didn't discuss that. No, no, you're right. I should, I should be yes anding the shit out of this. Time is a construct, man. Okay, so do we have any letters or magic items that we need to review? I do have a letter. I look forward to hearing about these letters. What has gotten into you? And not ridiculing these people. What? Nothing? Nothing's wrong? All right. The dean pulled me aside yesterday and told me that I had to be on my best behavior. You're being very suspicious. Because we're doing this big drive coming up soon, like this big subscription drive, and, and I have to be on my best behavior. Otherwise, uh, people won't donate money to the school and our radio station will be shut down. So I was told to be on my best behavior. I told the dean I'm always on my best behavior, but he said it got to be better than that. But people love your antics. That's what I'm saying. But, you know, I don't want to get it. I don't I don't want to be responsible for getting us shut down, but I don't think it'll last. But I'll try. But eh. OK, well, I admire your resolve. That's uh, the, the window cleaning, right? I appreciate your dedication to Wand. Yeah. <laughs> they also have Barkeep's friend. <laughs> right, right. Comet. It's a good dog. Okay, um... I thought that, that was, was Ajax. Idea. Anyway, our letter is, um... Wait, wait. Did you say Ajax? Yes. Didn't Ajax defeat Greece? Oh, okay. There was Ajax the Greater and Ajax the Lesser, and it was against the Trojans. Right. So Ajax, Ajax defeats Greece. No, because Ajax and Ajax were both Greek. Well, then I don't want a product that would not defeat Greece. I want a product that's going to defeat Greece. So give me some Trojans, and I'll clean the windows with it. I see where you are going now. <laughs> that might leave some streaking. Only if you're doing it right. <laughs> anyway do you have to use oh, do you ahead. have to use magnums for very large windows more i guess i don't, I don't know all right so we have we have a question is that what i hear coming in a question yeah it's 
that's what I've been trying to get to. Okay, last week we were in enchantment class before the and before the professor arrived, and our buddy, uh, who is specializing in arcane trickery, decided it might be fun to try some stuff out. All right. He put on boots of elven kind, right? A cloak of elven kind, uh huh. An amulet of proof against detection and location, right? A hat of disguise, right? A ring of mind shielding. A ring of invisibility and a cloak of in how many cloaks are you wearing? Oh, as many as it takes. One is enough. You don't need. He activated them all at once while throwing dust of appearance on himself and dust behind the desk. We haven't seen from him. Wait, throw what? What does he throw dust of appearances on him? Like, look, I, I look dust of what? I look like That's this thing I now. Now back. I look like that God thing. Oh, now I'm a little fluffy puppy dog. No, it's it summons very small hive-minded insects. What? <laughs> Dust of a pure ants. Oh, all right, all right, all right. It's just sugar. It's just sugar. All right, so, uh, and through what now? Dust of what now? Start there. You want to you wanna take a run at this whole thing again? Not the whole thing. Yes, this entire radio <laughs> show. I want to take a run at the whole thing and pick new co-hosts. For like the, the last eight weeks, all right. Anyway. Why don't you take another run at that? You know what, Ebbett? What? Why don't you go ahead and take a run at this question? What, why? You were doing so well. Last week, we were in, in enchantment class before the professor arrived, and our buddy, who was specializing in arcane trickery, decided it might be fun to try some stuff out. He put on some boots of elven kind, some, a cloak of elven kind, an amulet of proof against detection and location, a hat of disguise, a ring of mind shielding, a ring of invisibility, and a cloak of invisibility. He activated them all at once by throwing dust of disappearance on himself and ducked behind the desk. We haven't seen or heard from him since, and are starting to get worried. Signed, come out, come out, wherever you are. This that seems like quite a pickle. Sounds like he messed up. He seems like an overachiever. I think that... Uh, I hate to break it to you, come out, come out, wherever you are. But one of these things is not like the other things. The hat of disguise. I think he just wanted to get away from you learn from school if he can look like anything else now and he turns invisible when he becomes visible again he just looks like something else well uh but like he just like did all the magic items go too because it certainly sounds like the school just got robbed i cannot think of a better way to rob a school than to look like a i am not condoning this i am stopping this line of conversation it's the perfect crime yeah i ate her my hat's off to you boys that's a perfect crime uh yep well, now we definitely need to do that Dean's Drive, because clearly we have to replace some items for classes. Why do we have to replace? I don't get this. Uh, no, that that is a pickle. I uh, thought it'd be a little bit funnier. Um, sounds like they were robbed. Crime is no joke, students. Crime is no joke. Now, let's say he was a student and he did accidentally disappear with all that crap. Uh, does the school have insurance to pay for disappearing children? I mean, disappeared students, since we're not children. I hope so. Like of a, like of a, a professor transmutes someone into something, you know, horrible, like, you know, a lava or, you know, a potted plant or something. Um, does that, you know, does the school reimburse the parents for that? Or the spouse or whatever? Well, I mean... Uh, certainly the school is insured against negligence, but against willful ig ign willfully ignoring the rules like this student did? Uh, this is too many magic items at once. Should da dangerous magic items be just sitting out for anybody to use before class? That doesn't make no sense. These things are not dangerous by themselves. It's not like it's a rod of power and someone's breaking it over their knee. Can you do that? Don't. Blow your dick off. No, seriously, I need to know what would happen if one did this. <laughs> Alright, you, you, you'd blow your... Uh, well, that's not a problem for me. It would hurt. I, nope, I, it would hurt. That's the right answer. It would hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I think you disappear and vanish, and uh, that's another opportunity. Possibility. It would hurt. Very briefly. Don't break rods of power and don't steal... Artifacts of dis uh, items of disappearance. And don't try to wear too many magic items all at once and activate them all at once. That's ridiculous. Also, don't drink too many potions at the same time. 
you know, there's a lot of rules at this school, um, and rules are fun and dandy. You turn into a tomato. You know, that reminds me of the rule that uh, an activation word can no longer be a sneeze. That uh, was hilarious the first time. Then one of the school cooks got into some pepper, and it was, oh, no. What magic item were they wearing when they sneezed? I don't know, but the school forbade chili from being made for three months. Oh. I don't, I don't, I mean. Is that why Chef Monty just brought it back? They had just brought Chef Monty back. <laughs> All right. Monty really is the best cook. Should we, um, should we try to head to an ad break? Yeah, we, we got a big ad break this week. Uh, oh, we probably shouldn't say that. People skip right over it. Uh, it's going to be a tiny and meek ad break that nobody needs to, uh, nope, 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 that's not good either. Uh, please listen to these ads. Uh, we really do need you to. There's a new wizard's pet. Treant. Treant pet. The potted tree that grows. Soak your treant, spread the seeds, and watch it grow. And now a whole collection of fun. With treant owlbears, direwolves, tabaxi, minotaurs, and even a treant bonsai. Treant pets are available at your local Garfields, Gilmores, or Woolworths. Oh, please let me say like 12 things. God damn. Go for it. Nope, nope, um, no, damn. I mean, like, aren't tree ants supposed to grow in water and spread your seed? Come on, this week of all weeks? All right, well, um, everyone, we, we're running a subscription drive. We do this once a year. Uh, this allows us to pay for our amazing, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, radio station here. Um, we don't bug you any other time of the year with with uh, asking for money. I mean, we tell you about some nifty products now and then, but we don't really we don't really beg you for money. We don't ask you to be our patron or whatever the hell it's called, or you know, we we don't do any of that. Just once a year, we ask you if you can afford it to to give us a little money, subscribe, and and help us out. And uh, here to tell you a little more about it is Kalapi. Yes, um, we uh, our subscription drive is done through our founding station, Nerdsmith, and we have several levels and ways that you can support us. And we are really, really excited to be a part of the subscription drive this year. Uh, our, the, the levels are Minion, Sidekick, and Champion, which are diff different levels of donation. And of course, if you can't donate, there are also other ways of supporting us that we can will get to later. But um, a minion level is a $5 per month subscription tier. Sidekick is 10 and champion is $20. And each of those tiers comes with different... Um, benefits. Benefits. Thank you, Rupert. Different benefits. Uh, for instance, as a minion tier, you get access to all of our bonus content. Um, access to the exclusive minion channel on the Discord server uh, for all of Nerdsmith's shows. And entry into a monthly drawing for prizes from one of your favorite shows. Yeah, that, that's a really good one. Let's talk about that bonus content for a second. Um, so every show on Nerdsmith does bonus content. Uh, and it's all hidden uh, away somewhere secret. And uh, you can only find it with the special treasure map. And like uh, a star chart and a uh, sextant. Uh, I love that word. And uh, a compass. Um, and uh, of course... Uh, the season uh season four dvd of who's the boss so uh if you get all of those together uh and then subscribe we'll send you the map that you can then use to find all the bonus content right uh yeah but you also need an ovaltine decoder ring oh of course of course you need that uh uh, and then after you've done all that, you get the crappy message you just realize you just go to a website and there it is uh but anyway so um <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, so we got the access to the bonus content. You'll get it every level. Um, you get access to that exclusive minion channel, uh, which uh, is a special channel. You can come onto our Discord and learn and, and meet all the creators and get to know them, and they'll become your best friends and they'll take you to prom and all that. Uh, and then um, you know, don't you can't no no that's not what happens. No, are you are you sure? You you really want to take somebody to prom, Emmett? I never got to go to my prom. Uh. So, uh, yeah, the uh, uh, Access Exclusive Minion channel, entry into this monthly drawing. So every month you work, you can win some prizes. Um, and that, that's it, $5 a month. And that's some, that's some pretty good stuff. And we put out bonus content uh, once a year. But um, at the end of the year, we, we have a, a charity drive. Nerdsmith has a charity drive. That there's going to be some more bonus content added there uh, for the charity people. But then we'll get added into the bonus content um it, it, you know in the rotation in the new year so there's always going to be new bonus content getting added uh, at least yearly at at the at the very least uh but it's it's some good stuff and and i think some of us will be adding some stuff as we can over the year too but anyway so there's good bonus content on there uh that's a good thing um rupert you want to tell us about the ten dollar sidekick level of course um i would like to take a moment to say that uh any of these, uh, if you're interested in donating, please go to nerdsmith.org forward slash donate and uh, check out all of the various tiers and benefits therein. Uh, that being said, the uh, so the sidekick tier uh, is everything within the minion tier, uh, plus you get exclusive access to a sidekick channel on the Discord server. You also get 50% off uh, with a coupon code for nerd alerts. Uh, so if you would like us to say a specific message on the air, uh, you can uh, give us uh, some money and we will do that uh, with a customized message that's just for you, just for someone else that you have specified. But less money than normal people have to do. 50% less money. Yes. That's that's a good less. You will also have a choice between a hard enamel lapel pin or a struck copper uh, keychain that I believe is also a bottle opener, correct? Uh, that is correct. Yeah, it's a little bottle opener, copper keychain, um, or the the hard enamel pin. I just I love hard, I love hard enamel. It's just it's great. Um, so yeah, we went we went uh, real nice, high quality stuff there. Um, both will have the Nerdsmith logo on them, um, and then uh, um, yeah, so you get a choice between those two. Wait, so how much was all that? Uh, oh, ten dollars a month, right? Then we uh the next tier up for donations uh subscriptions oh yes ten ten dollars per month for the the sidekick yeah and then the next tier up is uh champion which is twenty dollars per month uh it, calliope if you'd like to go into that a bit oh uh, yep yeah, the champion i mean twenty dollars a month is everything in our sidekick level so the uh sidekick channel on the discord server and also everything in the minion so also access to the bonus content and the monthly drawing um the monthly drawing is done at every subscription tier so it's not just everybody in one all minions get entered into one all some sidekicks get entered into one and all champions get entered into one so there's three drawings per month there's three drawings per month depending oh. on your subscriptions your subscription level and the shows that you support will be the ones that give you the prizes so it's when you when you donate to Nerdsmith, you can choose which shows you want to support, whether it's WAND or Shenanigans or Roll Like a Girl or Do or Dice. And those shows will be the ones that participate in the monthly drawings. They're also the ones that receive the money. So uh, the shows you choose to support are the ones that will receive uh, the uh, the bulk of the money that you're donating. It goes directly to the artists. Um, so uh, that's that's very important. You are supporting the artists and hosts directly with your donations. Absolutely. And in addition to those things, you get one free nerd alert, so even less money. Um, so we will... Re 100% is twice 50%. Yes, that is very true. You'll get the, the enamel pin, the copper keychain, and... A glass mug with the Nerdsmith logo on it. And our undying gratitude, of course. But you'll get it any any subscription level. But not actually undying. So I get a hard enamel pin and a cop strucker keychain and a choice between a, near, a keychain and a, and a thing? Because that's what that reads now that we've changed that. Ah, uh, true. No, you get both. You don't get the choice of one or the other. It, it supersedes. So 
at the at the sides kick at the sidekick tier, you get the choice of one or the other. At the champion tier, you get both of them. Uh, but yeah, so uh, that's and that's twenty dollars a month. Uh, if you want to donate more monthly, we really appreciate it. You can contact us directly for that, and we can set you up with something, and we'll send you some extra special stuff. But uh, but those are our three tiers right now: five dollars a month. You get the bonus content, the exclusive channel on the Discord server, entry into the monthly drawn, uh, and then sidekick. You get all of that plus uh, the exclusive sidekick channel. And 50% off coupons for all your nerd alerts. And then uh, the choice of the pin or keychain. And then at $20 a month, you get all of that. Uh, but you get both the pin and the keychain, access to the champion channel, one free nerd alert, and a glass mug. Uh, how, how can you go wrong? That's amazing. All for less than the cost of a diet soda a day. That's pretty awesome, actually. I drink a lot of diet soda. What do you say? If... if... Being a subscriber right now is not something you can do. There are other ways that you can support the network. Please review us on iTunes. Um, talk about us on Twitter, Facebook. Link people in. Have them send in their questions for us. Have it send in magic items for us to review. We'd love hearing from you guys. Now, something we need to be clarify here. Uh, not as important this year, but we met much more important later. Uh, this is for new and upgrading members only. So if you are a current subscriber and uh, and uh, you're looking to get some of these goodies and benefits, uh, upgrade your subscription if you can. That'll help support us even more. You can choose another uh, show or two on the network. Uh, and then, um, um, or if you're not a subscriber, a brand new subscriber, first time, go ahead and pop on there and we'll, uh, we'll get you set up. Also, as far as those uh, magic items, how does one send us those magic items again? It's a Twitter hashtag, correct? Uh, you can tweet them directly to WAND underscore radio at Twitter. There is a, a secret special, uh, there is one stretch goal. There's one, I don't know what we're going to call it. Uh, but if we do get to 50 champions, just to keep in mind, if if we get to 50 champion Nerdsmith subscribers, we're going to have a special limited edition Struck Copper Nerdsmith pin for 2018. Uh, it will be a champion pin. It'll say champion right on it with our logo and then, well, with their logo, the Nerdsmith logo, and then the uh, uh, 2018 on there. And we're going to try to have that every year. So um, if we get 50 champions, we're going to do that. And overall, our goal... Um, for for the entire uh, and that's for the entire network that don't that don't mean just of this show that's for the entire network uh and then again the, the goal for the entire network uh i don't know did they set a goal did, did, did we figure one out for that i believe they did have 100 subscribers new and upgrading 100 total subscribers is our goal new and upgrading yes yeah. i believe so all right so that's not that's not very many at all we can we can hit that yeah um i would like to say that you can also tweet your items to at we are nerdsmith and you can use the hashtag wand magic w a n d m a g i c um to submit your items so lastly uh just like firstly if uh if you'd like to donate and you want more details you want to see a list uh, you're a visual person like i am uh gotta have that paper in front of you go to nerdsmith.org slash donate and you can go ahead and see uh see all the little links right there uh, we do really very much appreciate it, and uh, uh, anything you can do, uh, even if you can't donate and subscribe, if you could review us on iTunes or one of those other amazing things that Clappy said, that would be amazing too. And we want to say thank you for tuning in, thank you for giving us your time, and not lighting up your pitchforks and chasing us out of town. We appreciate that. Oh, we absolutely uh the the response we've gotten and the people that are listening to us i mean it's just it's overwhelming we really really appreciate it that is from the bottom of the heart uh no sarcasm intended absolutely it's i'm uh this is becoming rapidly one of my favorite things to do um hang out with these yahoos and um I, we really really appreciate all everybody who said really wonderful things all your tweets all your your messages of support and um your your undying love of emmett which is yeah, i don't get that one hilariously across the board 100 <laughs> percent. it's really the linchpin of what we do here the, are you saying they want to lynch me no i said linchpin 
Because it's undying love. Oh, that that's that's adorable. Um, um so I think uh, is there anything else we need to uh um so I think we've covered it pretty well. Um so yeah, please uh, if if you if you are able to to subscribe to our network, um, we have we have only been around a short while. This network nerdsmith.org, we've been there since the beginning. Um, it's been around about one month, and it has reached uh, fifteen thousand unique uh, unique people. So uh, no, fifteen thousand. It's reached fifteen thousand total people. No wait, it's reached fifteen thousand total views and listens um, just in the first month. So. Uh, that is that is some amazing numbers. So uh, we really appreciate all of y'all, and uh, hope that you keep listening. Not just our show; that's all shows included. But still, for for being out for just one month, that's that's pretty impressive. So um, again, we 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 appreciate it so very much. So thank you very much, and and uh, I think we'll get back to the show now. Uh, 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 uh. Um, first off, uh, do not ever use the word spread your seed inside of your advertisement. That is just wrong and mean. Wrong and mean how? Um, okay, it's wrong and mean when I'm not allowed to make jokes about it. Ah, it's like that episode of, it's like that episode of Friends where Chandler has a bite of muffin in his mouth and he can't make that witty retort. Right when it happens and he's very frustrated. I know you don't know anything about it, damn it, but I do. I don't, I don't like Friends. There are some cringeworthy moments, but there are also some beautiful, beautiful comedy. Oh, I'm sure they did some great stuff, but I, I don't, I didn't care about any of them. I watched it, like one episode, and I went, "These people are horrible. I don't want to watch them." And we have just ostracized another percentage of our listener base. You know what? You know what? If 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 they if they like Friends, we don't need them. No Dragon Ball Z. No Friends. <laughs> Uh, you see, here's, the thing is, Calliope gets to edit this. Okay, so let's skip right past that one and go straight to the next question. Unlike, unlike how Emmett just said, we cannot get by without a little help from our friends. See, that's different. You know, that's music. That's powerful. That's that's amazing. They took a great song and ruined it by turning it into the friends theme song. That pisses me off. I didn't know about that song before friends. It's like McDonald's does with every goddamn song they buy. It was a one-hit wonder for that band. Not to those of us that cared. Um, how how is have you had your break today? Groundbreaking music. What? Or ba da ba ba ba. Do you believe in magic? That was one for a while. Yeah, that one. That one. That that's ruined. Oh. I do believe in magic because we are at an arcane university, so I mean, uh, that's yeah, kind that, of silly not that to. Uh, yeah, that, that fits. Uh, if I'm allowed to say, we might have a special guest on our next episode as well. well I was I was going to uh, tease that a different way, but all right. Oh, well, then I'll cut that out and you can tease it later. It's all good. Can we, can we not say that I'm going to tease my sister later? As long as something is getting teased. I know I'm Southern, but that's... No, don't, please don't do that. <laughs> no, no, hard cut, hard cut, no! Start calling your Theon. All right. Okay, so, um, WAMG Radio, I need your help. You're my absolute last hope. I met a handsome turtle a few months ago while at a local pub off campus. Ooh, fun. Uh, we spent an evening together, and it was absolutely magical. I don't remember anything about him other than his tattoo of a ratkin on his left bicep, but I'd love to find him again. Can you help me get a message to him? Signed, I think he had a skateboard, too. We're not a dating service. No, no, we should we should totally help out because um, uh, this 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 person ain't ever going to find anyone like that. Yes, we should totally help her out. We we'll totally help her out. Yes. Oh, Lordy. Sweet, merciful Mercer. 
I'm... <laughs> was he uh was he eating pizza by any chance? Uh yeah, there was there was a lot of pizza. Wait, who who signed this? I think he had a skateboard too, is how they signed it. What oh, all right. What else what else was uh what was what can you read off the description again? A uh, turtle with a tattoo of a ratkin on his left bicep with a skateboard. All right. Wearing a mask by any chance? Kind of orange in color? What color was he wearing? That's the question. We don't know. That's yeah, the question. Yeah, that would be really helpful. Yeah, right. I think I think this person needs to have a little more description. Um, however, I can understand that she would be distracted. Uh, if you if you need any uh, concerns, maybe ask uh, Professor Heather um, about a, a, a play I once saw um, on the Uzi tubes uh, called Scientifically Accurate Ninja Turtles. Go watch that uh, and then understand why this woman wants to get back with this Ninja Turtle. How do you know it's a Ninja Turtle? Is he a monk? Or this turtle. This turtle. Sorry. It's this turtle. Getting back with this turtle. Just cut it out. Cut it out. Uh, and uh, no, but get back with this because this this scientifically accurate ninja ninja turtle uh, that will explain everything you need to know about why she wants to get back with this guy. Okay, okay. I'm slightly afraid now. Well, uh, Mister Turtle, if you're out there listening, uh, the girl that you spoke with at the pub wants to meet up with you, so I would recommend going back to that pub and waiting for her there. Uh, if, uh, I think he had a skateboard too, if you're listening, uh, which I hope you are since you wrote into this radio state, radio station, radio station, love to a love. <clears throat> since you wrote into this radio station looking for answers, I would hope that you're tuned in. Uh, just go back, eat, eat more at the pub, eat pizza, something, something delicious. I don't know. Um, wear yellow or something distinctive like that. Yes, uh, I love connection. Anyway, that's um, that's our show. Uh, just for those of you who are confused and aren't going to go watch that, please don't watch it. Um, a, a, a turtle's uh, member is about as long as his body. And that's science. You want to be a moving service? I mean, I am pretty strong. I guess it could help. Ready for an adventure, ladies? Join Matt. It's okay. Everything dies. <laughs> Willow. Are we in the city? God, I hope not. Amira. Can oh. I do an insight check as they're, like, going to help? And Nova. Oh god, is this a baby? I threw it. On Rollick a Girl. Available on nerdsmith.org or wherever you get your podcasts. <laughs> <laughs>